everyone's talking about design thinking and many companies said they are actually applying design thinking to provide better service for their customers and the stakeholders. However, I also heard many people share their frustration that they did apply design thinking at the work but didn't see any obvious improvement. So they said design thinking doesn't work and wondered why they share such different experience from others. In today's video, I'm going to share three tips on how to use design thinking to help you get the transformation you were looking forward to see based on my experience. First, it's about mindset. Design thinking is a user-centric approach has been proven work, no doubt. However, the secret sauce is the mindset, not just the three or four or six steps, or not even the tools. Think about that. When you go interview your customers, if you don't really have the curiosity, you are not going to get any insightful outcome from those interviews. If you don't really embrace the value or the risk, just trying to prove that your ideas were right, then you are not going to learn anything along the way. To make it short, the magic of design thinking is the mindset, not just the steps or the tools. Second, it's a journey. Many companies invite us to facilitate design thinking workshop for them and expect it to get every answer they were looking for. I would say it doesn't really work that way. Design thinking is an iterative process. You need to take your customers and stakeholders along the journey to constantly get feedback from them, continually to improve your product or services, and always being curious what can you do differently to provide more value to them. So again, it's not just one-time workshop thing. It's a journey that you need to bring your customers and stakeholders with you. Third, it's about having a professional innovation facilitator or coach. A lot of people had design thinking trainings and they got passionate about that and went back to work to facilitate design thinking workshop, which is good. Passion is a very important ingredient for innovation. However, if you are also involved into the content, the KPI, the politics within the organization, it could be very hard that you cannot focus on the thinking process, you cannot focus on what's the best environment to foster creativity from your team members. External innovation or facilitator exists for a reason, not just because they are very good at facilitation and the coaching and having a good knowledge around different innovation process and the tools that actually can be free from all the non-necessary noise that they can just focus on. What's the best for the project to be successful? What's the best environment that can really help the team to collaborate and feel free to share their different thoughts? To make it short, external innovation, consultant and coach they can actually create the true psychological safety that can unleash the collective genius of your member teams, your team members. So there are actually the three tips I extract from my experience of 20 years innovation coach and consultant. And I hope you find this useful. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us we are looking forward to hear from you. Thank you.